all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy codename agent danger and we gotta talk about this man because i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i'm feeling some type of way sneak peek number three just dropped and it's leaving me with more questions than answers right and it seems as though danny cool may actually have been right well i'm pretty sure he is in fact right because he's in you know what i'm saying in a circle so when he said Right, we should stay tuned for more information in regards to sneak peek number two in the new year. Right, it may actually have been completely correct because sneak peek number three just dropped and we still have no idea what this trailer meant, why Iron Man, Captain America, and Black Widow are wanted, basically branded as villains, and how that relates to the worries of the sky. Because sneak peek number three is again throwing us for a loop, right? Completely out of nowhere. It is basically <laughs> A uniform for a character that didn't need a uniform. So we got to talk about this, man, because I know right away a lot of you guys are feeling some type of way. I'm excited, but at the exact same time, I'm disappointed. And I'm hoping that if we are indeed getting a uniform for this character, it takes her in a whole new direction. And it's not just making her, I would say, 5 or 10% better at what she was already good at. So sneak peek number three right here. And the message goes, greetings agents. This is CM Fragment of the Marvel Future Fight team. Other characters are also working hard in order to help our agents in the new year. I saw them training day in and day out. One character that stands out is a well-known agent. Who do you think owns the shield and the spear or the spear and the shield? And you see right here, there's this image. It looks like a shield and a spear in a Coliseum. It looks pretty cool. If anything, I would really like if this was a new game mode, right? A new PvP Coliseum game mode, or maybe this was a rework for Battle World, a rework for, I don't know, Alliance Battle, Alliance Tournament, Alli not definitely not Alliance Conquest. This, this doesn't feel like Alliance Conquest, but Coliseum, right? We fight in a Coliseum in Battle World. We fight in a Coliseum in Alliance Battle, and we do... <laughs> we do need right a rework for those game modes however i think that's just reaching i don't think they're gonna be reworking those but it would be really really interesting if this sneak peek was just more than a uniform right anyways the rest of the message goes if you know who owns these weapons please enter the correct answer in the link below and basically all you have to do is just copy paste this and enter sharon rogers and you'll be presented with this image right here. Now, as you can see, it is Sharon Rogers sporting a brand new look, right? Looking like something out of like Spartacus, right? Looking like something out of 300. This is Sparta. This ain't Marvel Future Fight. And I know right away some people are gonna be like, oh my goodness, really? A third uniform for Sharon Rogers. Really? not what we needed at this point in time and i am a hundred percent behind all of you guys right even the biggest will will agree that sharon rogers didn't need a uniform we need uniforms for people like ghost rider blade you know what i'm saying drax gomora characters that's been at the bottom for like five years or going close to five years we don't need a uniform for sharon rogers a character that's already i would say top 20 easily top 15 maybe even top 10 for pve content one of the highest damaging characters in the game what direction will they take her in with this uniform right that's my question here what makes this uniform different than the two that she got before if it's just going to make her five or ten percent better for world boss ultimate or gbr or abx this is a pointless uniform, as beautiful as it may look. If anything, I would really like it if they fixed some of the core problems that was wrong with Sharon Rogers, like for example, her forge kill, shooting her laser beam or her whatever, like over the head of the boss or the beast in ABX in some instances, or I would really like it if they gave her some things that she was missing from her kit to begin with, like a heal, right? And possibly look into making Sharon Rogers a PvP character in this uniform so as to not shit on the people who spend a lot of resources getting the other uniform to Mythic. I would have loved it. I would absolutely love it if they actually made this a PvP uniform for Sharon Rogers to make it so that 
not only do you still need and will you still use the Dark Star armor that many people bought because it is a fantastic uniform, but then there would be a need for this one as well, right? This one would just be a PvP uniform that adds stuff like Fracture, iframe Ignore, not necessarily the high burst damage that we know and love for Robots Ultimate content, but just a lot of survivability and a lot of PvP tools built into it. That's what would be really cool to me in regards to this uniform right here. Not five or 10% more damage for World Boss. I know some of you guys are not going to agree with me. You're gonna say, you know what? I didn't pick up the Dark Star armor, so this is perfect for me, right? I can pick this up now and I can just go ahead with that. But the thing is, ultimately, that doesn't solve the problem that I have, right? Sharon Rogers got a uniform again and she didn't need one. There's other characters, plenty, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 characters in the game easily that needed a uniform more than she needed one. So why they decided to give another uniform to Sherrod Rogers here is just beyond me. And I get it, right? It's an update for the Warriors of the Sky, their original characters. So it, it fits thematically to give Sharon Rogers a uniform because she's also an original character so she can fit in with there. She can lead them, right? Because she's the OG basically. So she can guide the newcomers on their quests, right? And I guess that's why they're going for this old school uniform because I guess the Warriors of the Sky, they're like mythical creatures or whatever from back in the day. But man, even though this fits and in my head, right, it makes sense as to why Sharon Rogers is getting a uniform right now. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't like the idea of characters just getting the same characters, getting uniforms over and over and over again. We just seen three uniforms hinted for characters that didn't need uniforms. Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, right? The possibility of three characters that I would say, okay, two, that didn't need a uniform and Iron Man and Captain America getting uniforms and then Sharon Rogers joining them. Again, it just, man, people are gonna get tired of seeing the same characters getting uniforms over and over and over again when there are other characters in the game that badly need it and they're never getting that moment to shine. So Future Fight Team, I understand this fits, right? And you're free to do whatever you want, it's your game. But ultimately, at some point, you're gonna have to cut this out and like give the player base something that they actually need because we don't need this as much as it's like it's cool right we don't need this i'm just saying all right anyways boys let's jump back in the game i'll give you guys the rest of my thoughts but man i want to hear from you guys right how are y'all feeling about this do you think this is perfect timing since it makes sense right and if so would it be okay if they give us another uniform for crescent since io right he's in the teaser the first teaser that we got or she i'm not sure if the bear has a gender right but i'm not trying to like <laughs> you know what i'm saying um mis misrepresent io right but at the same time that doesn't matter that's besides the point do you guys think this fits so it's fine where some of the other characters like for example if they came out of nowhere and gave a uniform to i don't know somebody like yellow jacket or whiplash or one of these trash characters that's been at the bottom forever right it wouldn't make sense it wouldn't really fit in as much as we need it right sharon rogers though she doesn't need it <laughs> so i'm just kind of confused guys i want to hear from you guys man and i hope to god or whatever you guys believe in right I'm, I'm praying that it's not just another uniform that makes it so that we play her the same way where we just three absorb damage five proc or four proc or three cancel five cancel four proc right and just basically do the same thing with her that we've been doing i'm hoping that that's not the case here because if that if that's what it is you know what scratch that if that's what it is i'm gonna tell you guys off the rip don't buy the uniform, right? Because you're probably not going to need it because this uniform is good enough. The only way I can see this new uniform for Sharon Rogers, if he keeps her as a PvE character, the only way I can see this uniform being something that you absolutely need to buy is if, one, it fixes her tracking on the forward skill because sometimes when you're in World Boss Ultimate, the beam on this skill. Now, right here, she pushed them away and they grouped up for her but sometimes in war boss ultimate the boss will be so close to you that the forward skill beam will just go right over their head and you get absolutely no damage right if they fix that on the new uniform cool if they make it so that one of her skills primarily one like the third skill here or maybe the fifth skill heals her cool 
then we're talking. Then it might be a must buy. But if everything is the same and they just bump up the damage numbers a little bit, it's hard. It's a hard sell. It's a hard sell for me, right? I'm going to buy it as a content creator just so I can compare it to what she had previously, right? But to tell people to buy it when it's basically just like 5 or 10% more power, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Like my integrity, everything that I stand for, I realistically could not and will not do that. So I'm hoping that whatever they decide to do with this new uniform that she's going to get, it gears her more towards PVP, right? Same thing that I wanted them to do with um, Luna Snow, which didn't end up happening. I'm hoping this time it actually happened because Luna Snow didn't need another PVE uniform. Now, we've seen that she got def definitely got a lot better from this to this, right? She got the defense down on her forward skill. The skill is now safer than it was previously, so it's an upgrade. And they could very well do the same thing for Sharon Rogers, whereas <laughs> with Luna Snow, you already have heal built in, so that's not a problem for her. The thing is, man, I don't want to see them repeat the same pattern over and over. Same characters don't need uniform, get uniform uniform they get changes that really matter so it makes it so that you kind of want to go buy the uniform but the thing is i prefer to see uniforms which as hard as it may be to do take the character in a whole new direction like as much as i love this uniform for luna snow right now and i think it's the best uniform for her for date like to date english if you even speak it right i would have loved it even more if this took her to a different direction and she was all of a sudden a pvp monster that's just me. Anyways, boys, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to share my thoughts really quickly, right, in regards to Sharon Rogers and this new uniform. As much as I like it, because I love Spartans, you know what I'm saying? I love the 300. I love all that. And the old school look on the uniform looks really, really cool. To go from like this, a space armor type deal for Sharon Rogers to something like with just a, a loincloth, a shield, and a spear, it looks really dope. Not something I ever thought I would see for Sharon Rogers, like cause even her baby form right still looks high tech so to see her going old school it looks really cool but man she didn't need another uniform so i feel some type of way and i can really feel for the free-to-play players who probably picked up this uniform on black friday right they got it to mythic and then here comes another uniform for sharon rogers possibly stronger than this one now they have the dilemma of should i buy that one should i not because next year there might be another update that gives her a fourth uniform you know what i'm saying like man this has to stop at some point at some point this, i'm pretty sure there's still characters in the game i really need to go back and look i'm pretty sure there are characters in the game right now that have zero uniform right <laughs> and we have characters like sharon rogers getting a third when she's already in the top 10 like what i need to go check i'll check that out my own time but i'm pretty sure there's at least one character in the game that has no uniform it's been a while since i checked but anyways actually i can find one right now sin trash character trash character pure garbage has some really good future potential because of her four star i know this is not about her actually well one of you guys did mention to me that uh Black Widow uniform could be for Sin, and that would be dope. That would be really, really dope, right? And you guys mentioned that the Captain America uniform could be for Crossbones. So I'm not reaching too, too far off topic here. That would be really cool because she has a sick, absolutely amazing four-star passive. I love this thing, right? When she gets debuffed, she removes debuffs for 10 seconds and buff her attack by 30%, right? This is really, really cool. And she's a character that I think needs a uniform way more then Sharon Rogers needs a new one. That's just me. Again, I know I said the video was over, but I just want to give you guys my perspective and where I'm coming from and why, even though I love a character like Sharon Rogers, she's free to play, so you can't really hate on that, right? I think she doesn't need a new one. I think a character like Sin, a character that has been at the bottom since release, needs one way more than Sharon Rogers needs a third uniform. If you feel differently, Hit me in the comments, hit me on Discord. We can chop it up as always. Until next time, stay safe. I love y'all. Peace out.